Today on Ricky Lake. Why do you go to prostitutes if you have a girlfriend? Men who prefer prostitutes. They both get what we want and we go home. They think dating's a waste of time and money. A girlfriend's cost me more money than a prostitute would. But working girls are worth it. I'm making a lot of money, you know. But I think it's very degree point. It's hard work. He doesn't need a girlfriend, he'd rather go to a prostitute. I'll have time to have a big relationship. You're not after a long-term relationship, you just want sex. Next Ricky Lake. In fact, these men say they would rather be with these women than in a relationship. Why? Because these women are prostitutes. Today, my guests say, who needs a girlfriend? I'd rather go to a prostitute. presence, doesn't want to have to call you all the time, doesn't want to be nagged, and definitely does not want to commit. Oh yeah, but he does want sex. Doesn't sound like a relationship too many women would want, right? Not this woman. Well, that's exactly what my guests are saying. They say the kind of relationship they want, they could never have with a regular girlfriend. So they have found the almost perfect relationship replacement. They go to prostitutes. I, yeah, now I have a feeling you want to meet these guys, don't you? Yeah. Guys, come on out here! <laughs> meet Vinny and Doug, everyone, and how about a nice round of applause for them? They're coming to talk about something so personal on television. That's better! Now, Vinny, tell me, why do you I go to prostitutes for the variety, uh, no games, no BS relationships, uh, no waking up in the morning to them, feeling sorry, feeling guilty. Wait, I gotta say, it's nice to wake up with somebody in the morning. It, it can be on occasion, I mean, depending. You say you'd rather go to a prostitute and know what you're getting than to be accused of getting date, of, of date raping somebody. Yes. Wait, 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 what? What did you say? You said, why you, Why would you date rape? What, uh, Vinny, yeah, I mean, have you been accused of date rape before? Not at all. But you feel like this is what you're after. You're not after a long-term relationship. You just want sex. Yes. All right. What about you, Doug? Why do you go to a prostitute? Well, I've been in a relationship before. I've been hurt. This way, I don't get hurt. Nobody gets hurt. We both get what we want, and we go home. Wait, 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 wait. It's hurting. I mean, this does cost a lot of money. How much money are we talking about? Uh, what, Twenty, thirty dollars sometimes. <laughs> and how often do you guys go? Several times a week. But you even have dated some of the prostitutes you've been with. Yes. Wow. And you think there's a big misconception about prostitutes? Uh, for the most part, yes. Tell me, what, what, what are the misconceptions? What? Uh, I mean, it's, it's their business. They go out, they earn, they earn their money that way. Some of them have children to support. They choose that way. All right. Yes. I want to know if you ever think about taking these women home and they perhaps do something to you, like murder you in your sleep or... Uh, in the morning, uh, all your money's gone or anything like that. Do you You've been watching too many midnight movies. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's dangerous out here. This, well, I mean, this is real. There's of being stalked, meeting a woman at a bar who you don't know than just, you know, on some street corner meeting a prostitute. All right, okay. Well, we have some women backstage who are dying to get to these guys. Do you want to meet them? Yeah. Ladies, come on out here. <laughs> Susan and Christina. 
Susan says these men need to start thinking with their heads and not their, you know. And Christine knows firsthand what prostitutes do to a relationship. One just happened to ruin her marriage. Thank you, ladies, for being here. Susan, what do you want to say to these guys? I want to know why you feel you have to pay for it. I mean, if you feel so bad you want money to get sex, then next time you have sex, give the girl your credit card, and then you'll feel better. Well, I don't... <laughs> I feel as though I have to pay for it. I just happen to choose to do it that way. You choose to do it that way, so why don't you just go find somebody who'll do all the things that you want them to do? Well, why is it a problem for you what he does with his money? It's not a problem for me what he does with his money, but I think it's very degrading to women because you know what? If it was his sister or his mother or somebody related to him, he would probably just show them and say they were a slut. To do that, that's so, so if you pulled up, like if you were just driving down the street one day, you pulled up the car and your mother was standing out there, you would go, oh, go, mom, go ahead, I'm going to that street, give me a girl. If, no, you wouldn't. You'd go, what are you doing out here? My mother doesn't do that. I'm saying, but what if she did? Well, you don't know what she does in her spare time. Yeah, I mean, what all of those did? women are somebody's... <laughs> what if she did? Would you want some guy to do that to your mother? You want some guy to do that? Yeah, I gotta say, I mean, all of those women are somebody's daughter or mother. Um, Christina, what happened to you? Your, your marriage was ruined by a prostitute? Uh, actually, uh, my husband and my brother went out one night on a so-called fishing trip and uh, come to find out <laughs> they were fishing and uh, <laughs> um, so I found out and he was automatically, I got rid of him. No good. prostitute? I have no idea. Did I mean, you confront I'm giving him everything I can, you know? Yes. I want to know, did you be getting like two at a time or something like that? <laughs> do you think you're going to spend your money worthwhile? Can't you use your imagination? <laughs> whatever, whatever type of mood hits me. That's so there's a lot of variety to okay, doing this. Definitely. All right. Next, we will meet two women who really know what we're talking about. Why? Because they're prostitutes. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Sick and tired of whining women complaining about sexual harassment? Have you ever been sexually harassed on the job or accused of sexually harassing a co-worker? If so, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. I think there is something wrong with guys going to prostitutes because they probably have some problems. It's their prerogative. If they want to go to a prostitute, I mean, sometimes it might be even a little bit better. You sleep with the girl that you're involved with. When you're done, you have to hold them in bed. You got to romance them a little bit with a prostitute. You just get up and leave. It's much simpler. to do to keep him coming back for more. Ladies, come on out here. Please meet Serena, Coral, and Blake. They say in a relationship, romance is nice, but sex is a necessity, and women are always getting the two confused. Serena, I'm going to start with you. You now, you are a manager of a, a, what do you call it? Midnight Bunny Ranch. Okay, Midnight Bunny Ranch in Nevada where it is legal. Yes. All right, so what do you have to say? I mean, you, you actually manage this place and these guys come in and what do you think about the whole business? Oh, it's absolutely wonderful. <laughs> absolutely wonderful. You don't think women are being, are being degraded or... Certainly not. Belittled? No? Not at all. All right, what about you? You you work at the Bunny Ranch. You you are a pr prostitute. Uh, yeah, right. Wait, I'm stuttering suddenly. I don't know why. I mean, and, and you're proud of it. It's not a matter of being proud of it. You know, it's my job. It's how I make money. 
So, but what do you think of your job and what you do for a living? I don't really see a problem with it, you know. I'm making a lot of money, you know. <laughs> Who minds making a lot of money, you know? How much money are we talking about? Do you need to ask? <laughs> well, I mean, considering you, you sell your body for money, I mean, I'm just curious. You don't have to tell right. me your salary, but what do prostitutes get these days? I mean, maybe I'm in the wrong business. Yeah. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're you making just a little bit less than you're making, Ricky. Really? Yeah, that's probably what the girls make. All right, you're not getting me to say what I'm making. All right. All right. Uh -huh. And Blake, I understand you are an escort. What is the difference between a prostitute and an escort? Um, well, I'm there for time and companionship. I mean, I go... You don't give it up? No. <laughs> Business, but mine. Coral, can I ask you how old you are? Working girls. How old are you? Yes. Is that important? You yeah. I'm 18. You're 18. <laughs> with all these people and getting paid for it. Oh, it's beautiful. We'd love to have many more. <laughs> many more. She's 18 years old. Isn't We'd love to have it? all of you. She she's 18, 18, when you got the job. 18 years old. She's not even 21 yet. That's quite right. She's saving for a college education. But you're 21 when you're right. right. I'm going to get a college education when I'm young. Yeah. When do you plan to get a college education? I'm going to be very safe. Did you wait until you were 21? I did not have sex months. What did I must tell her? I'm not up here until the last thing. People who don't sell their body for sex. What are they telling us? This is the point. The, 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 thing I'm, the thing I'm talking about is not so much women like you, where you work in an escort service and you crack sex. I'm talking about the people on the street, on the, on the corner. Because you know, unless it, it you... Sex, all of them? Sex all of them? Like all of them? No, because, because some of them have diseases and that's just a fact. That's right. You know what I'm saying? All of them know. Unless you know, unless you know every prostitute that they slept with, then you can't say anything about either one of them. And, you don't know. Your and your for your information, the only excuse me, Susan, Susan, the only 100% safe sex is abstinence. That's right. <laughs> Yes, my question is to the two ladies on the end. I was wondering if uh, you guys have boyfriends and what do they think about this? I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. So now are you wondering what they're doing after the show? How about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Right. No, I was just curious to two the girls on the end again. Do their parents know what they do and how they feel about it? They do now. Coral, do your, does your family know what um, you I don't have a father, and my mother, I don't really talk to her. I don't have any, really. I'm not close to her. Okay. Yes, I have two well, questions. That's okay, then. First for the men, uh, do you fear rejection? That's why you pay for it, so you know you won't get rejected? Not at all. I have met decent women out there. They just weren't all around of quality that I'm looking for. That's why I seek it elsewhere. And Coral? Yeah, but how can you find quality? Coral. All you're going to do is pay for some sex. How do you know anything about them? Okay, Coral, you're 18. I mean, what do you You don't know what you do now won't affect you in life when you're 30, 35? Who knows? I mean, what there's, there's that chance, but you know, the reason I'm doing it is for, you know, save it for my college. And I have a house now, you know, and somewhere to go home to at night, you know? So you do plan to stop at some point? Well. Yes, of course. Well. I'm doing this for my college education. All right. Another prostitute will join us, and you might be amazed when you see who it is. Coming up next.
female prostitutes and escorts agree. But wait, I think there's one more prostitute that we forgot to introduce with an interesting perspective on all this. Come on out here. Hi, Dylan. This is Dylan, everyone, and he is a male prostitute. And you are, I understand in your profession, you're extremely special. You got it. Do you want to tell everyone what, what makes you special? Um, that too. You, you do have sex with both men and women? Yes. All right, so what is your perspective on all of this? Um, I prefer to make money. So, you prefer and I work with women, work with men. I work with what works. And what pays? Yes, sir. Uh, I'd just like to know to the prostitutes, uh, don't you get tired emotionally and physically? I'm not a prostitute, I'm an escort. All right, sorry, my bad. Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, Damn. Uh, Damn. But, but, I mean, you can still answer the question. I don't get tired, I don't get drained. Actually, I meet some very wonderful people doing this job. I meet some very nice people. And I can understand why they would call. Because, you know what, there's times when I go out. There's times when I go out and I don't like to take to my time to meet a lot of the people I find out there. All right, yes. Well, I'd like to ask Serena, uh, yes. how strict is the government of Nevada in regulating your business? Because it is legal, right? Yes, that's a very good question. It's very strict. Um, we go through many, many procedures in order to um, make sure that the girls are legal and um, girls do get checked once a week by the doctors, so they're very clean. Um, we work very closely with the gynecologist, so it is very regulated. So you provide health insurance for these ladies? Um, from time to time. All right. Uh, this woman is wondering if you pay taxes. Absolutely. All right. Yes. Coral, by the time at 21, you're going to be dead. I'm sorry? Why do you say that? Wait, wait. You, she said that by the time you're 21, you're going to be dead. What, what makes you say that? Because she said from the time she's 18 to 21, she wants to save so she can go to college. By the time she's 21, it's going to be too late. Uh, so why? I think they're wrong. Why? For what? I really why, think why, wrong. why is it going to be too late? You practice safe sex. Why is it? Are they going to be too late for you? You practice safe sex too. I mean, that's an interesting point. I mean, a lot of us do. <laughs> Not me, but a lot of people do have sex with, with people they don't know. They bring them we home and bought from bars. Girls just get paid for it. You go out and you meet different guys and people have one night stands and they don't get paid. Well, why? Excuse why, me. Why, why, Tasha, why do you choose that? Why don't you just get a regular job with everybody else? I know I do, and I don't want to work a $6 an hour job. Right. Yeah. But by the time I'm 21, I'm going to finally have money for college. But if I'm going to go to college, but in other words, in other words, you, you, other words, you don't want to work hard. You want to get the easy way. You want to let me go. talking to a different person all the time, it's hard work. Believe very me. Hard work. It's very hard work. We have to deal with people sometimes that have very bad personalities. But Blake, Blake, let me ask you something. Do you have, do you have children? Do you have children? What kind of role model are you setting for your children? No idea what I do. I will, if but if you're proud of it, I mean, you're here today. What kind of role model do I do this? I love my son very, very much. And do you know what? I want my son to have the best, and I want him to have everything he can have, and that's doing that right now, for me to have him to have everything, for me to have him to have the best, I have to do, I'm doing this job. Because so you know why don't you I get another job and do the same thing? Why do you have to, well, why don't you just get another job and do the same thing? Because if I work six dollars an hour, my son couldn't go to private schools, I have so money in the bank, and my son could go to college, go to your school, and he takes an extra six dollars, get go to school, And whether you're happy with it or not, they are continuing to pay for these women. Let me ask you, you know what? And what is your day consistent? Day, 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 what is your day consistent? 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 What is your day consist
And to put my stuff on display, you are. I can't be here. You're putting your stuff on display. I'm going to use props to tell you how many times I sleep with who. And now, what my job is. because it allows him the freedom to do what he wants. The only problem is, he is afraid his girlfriend might find out. Now, wait a minute. Something happened last night. What happened, John, last night? She found out. <laughs> so she's, uh, you know, she found out, so we're no longer together. Now. You're no longer together. She no. broke up with you because of this. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah. If you have a girlfriend, because it's easy to do, and there's, you know, you can go. It's like kind of like going to buy a used car. You know, you go in there, you see what you like, and you go, you'll know, buy it. But I mean, as the saying goes, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free? I mean, you have a girlfriend at home with Basically, you. Basically, anyway, you look at her, it, it costs you the same. I mean, it's cheaper to go to a prostitute than you know have a basic girlfriend. My girlfriend's cost me more money than you know a prostitute would. <laughs> That's a lot more headaches than that. <laughs> but you say you say yourself that you want to stop going to prostitutes. Well, I want to stop. I think it's kind of a sickness I have, but it's kind of hard to stop, you know. John, see, you know, my sickness I have. John, she, you were saying, Vinny, you used to be from New York. You got to know places to go. You were saying that backstage. Yes, yeah, it's a sickness, but you got to have somebody to help you. And like her, when I told her that I was going to prostitutes and that, she got me. You know, it's like, are you, you know, happy about that? Well, like, John, you happy about John, that? what did you expect her to do? I mean, how, how would you feel if she was, you know, seeing somebody on the side and paying for it? Would you want to stay with that person? 
I'll talk to them about it, work things out. Yeah. If you got feelings towards somebody and they're gonna have feelings towards you, they should understand just like you understand. Right. I just say that you like women like you like to change cars. Yeah. I mean I work at East, I'm a used car, so when I want a used car, I, I you know, I get a different car, I take it, you know, drive it, take it home. Same way as you know women. You know, I, I don't like keeping the same woman a long time because it gets boring and gets old. But, but as a woman, I find that offensive, John. It's a, it's offensive to certain points, but a lot of women, there's the ones that are out there want to have fun. I never run into. I run in, end up with the ones that are boring. You know, basically don't want to do anything that I like doing. Right? You know, off the bat they start to, you know, to get dinner and all that stuff, but not basically. Anything I agree else. with John. Also, I mean, if I met the right woman. I probably would stop, but to this point, I haven't met the right woman. Sure. But maybe you're not going to meet the right woman until you make a commitment to meet somebody the right way as opposed to going to prostitutes. I've, I've tried to make commitments, but I mean, it seems like most of the women I, I make are into their games, so that's why I usually don't bother with it. I and try to buy me this, say, buy me that. Yeah. Okay, I'll take me here. But you said you want to pay for it, so it doesn't matter. All right, yes, yes, ma'am. I have a question for the blonde. Um, you it's blonde. Yeah, her right there. You said that escorting is your profession. Did you just wake up one day and say, oh, I want to be an escort? No, I, I mean, did you, like, get raised in a family that, like, no. you were, that you need to have your kids to have better? I mean, because I was brought up in a family. I don't care how old you are, but I'm saying, I don't care. I'm, I'm saying, I was brought, I'm 18 in New York to work as a dancer. The club I was for shut down. A person who was my friend told me about this job. I want to stay here in New York and make something of myself. Okay, so if my but you can make something of yourself in the Empire State Building. You don't have, you have to be escorting. Do you want to finish or do you want to talk? Go ahead. Okay. I came here, okay, I was making lots of money dancing. I'm paying, I'm going to pay my way for you to go to NYU, okay? No one else says, not my family. I don't have a boyfriend. Maybe, you know, maybe that's the end of it. But if, if 
he's gonna go out, would you rather him go out with somebody who's not gonna follow him home, ruin his job, take his children, take his car, take his house? Would you rather him go out with somebody who's not gonna follow him home? I'd rather not go out at all. It's not protected. What is more protected than anything you can see in the bars, on the streets? It is more protected than any of that. It is so safe. If it wasn't safe, I wouldn't be doing it. You think you're No, you have to be wandering. Can't wait. We'll be right back. that you're ready to reveal to a friend or family member? If you want to bring someone on our show to tell them the good news, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY. You must be 18 or older to call. and why men go with prostitutes. Let me ask you ladies, the experts, why do you think a guy would go to you rather than be in a relationship with a woman? Why would they rather come to us? Yes. Because, I mean, you don't have, you don't, you have these women and you meet them off the street or whatever or in a bar, wherever, and you end up with fatal attractions, you end up, like, you know, having kids, you know, and you don't want them, you know, you don't want to have kids or whatever. I just can't imagine having sex with someone that I don't have feelings for. This, this, I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm just saying there are these people who don't want children. There are these people who don't want women following them home or, you know, having the fatal attraction type thing for them. And they still and have this, choice. All right, yes. I just want to say, 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 except for those two ladies right there, it's a damn shame we'll only use two up there. And for home over there, who do you charge more, men or women? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying, except for the two ladies right there, all of them, it's a damn shame what you do. What's such a damn shame about what I do? What do you think? What is it? It's mine the whole show. <laughs> well, I mean, that's it. Serena, that's it. That's it. Serena, that's it. you're the manager of this place, so aren't you a glorified pimp? <laughs> Just like any other business. And I'm very good at what I do. All right. Very good. Hang on. Yes, sir. Come on over here. Uh, the, the lady, the blonde right there next to the. Uh... Yes, that's Blake. All right. Anyway, you said that um, you said that you um, purchased a house. And you're what? saving. What? No, not... You purchased a house. Coral. I... I said. You said that you purchased a house. Me? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. You said you, said you purchased a house. What's your point? Can I finish there? Oh, no problem. Uh, you said you were saving for college. We haven't even heard anything about high school. <laughs> I respect you very much. For you three ladies, you need to get a GED, a general education in decency. For you men, you need to get hooked. You, for you men that are buying it, for you men that are buying it, you need to go to Hooker Anonymous, okay? <laughs> Yes. I want to know what school you say. 
that you to go to that don't have financial aid, that you have to sell your body all over the place. That's 
right. But everyone makes choices, just like if you made a choice, I wouldn't go against your choice unless it's affecting me. All right. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Just go ahead. Yes. Um, this is for the uh, two guys on the end. Uh, I'd like to ask you something about your, your parents or your childhood because usually you try to emulate your parents and trying to find that right mate that you know that you can spend the rest of your life with. So So what are you saying? Are you saying that maybe they saw their parents going to prostitutes? Or maybe, maybe their fathers, yeah. Or maybe they came from a broken home. Or, not at all. Yeah, I came from a broken home, but that's not the reason I go. What is the reason you go? Basically, I, I don't have time to have a big relationship. I work. I work 60, 70 hours a week. I don't have time. Ah, uh, yes. I just think it seems like we're paying so much attention to the prostitutes. What about the men who are taking their services? I'd like to... Is it Christina? I mean, Christina, it seems like her all her anger is vented towards the prostitutes. What about your husband? It takes two to tell That's why I got rid of him. lightly so whomever you decide to have sex with be safe but also remember nothing is as satisfying as a real loving relationship with someone you know and love that is what life is all about thank you for watching see you next time promotional fees have been paid by the following 